What is up guys, Plant Commander here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we got into our first cave, and uh, we got a new type of Pikmin, and it's the most overpowered thing in the world. Also, something I didn't actually point out until just now, is the fact that you can change which Pikmin you're holding, and I wasn't going insane. A friend of mine told me that you can't do this in Pikmin 1, so I was, I was completely losing my mind, and you can... It, that is a thing that you could do, but it can't be done in Pikmin 1. So yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, let's just get out of here. I love that little fanfare. It's beautiful. And uh, yeah, we got three treasures and that's it. That's all there was to find in this cave. Didn't lose any Pikmin in the process, and that's beautiful. So yeah. Not gonna save, even though the game is probably gonna force me to save at some point during the episode anyway. But whatever. <laughs> whatever works. But yeah, now we're back to our ship. You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first successful spelunking expedition. That is that is a hard phrase to say. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in-depth analysis. Have we? I shall send a report back to the president tonight detailing your progress. But uh yeah, I think that's I think the day automatically ends, but I'm not rem I I don't remember. Hello Martin Louis, since you will explore a new data Yep, today's work is done. Okay, yep, I was right. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable. You may not realize it, but you are exhausted. No, I'm not. You should take a much needed rest, as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. Haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. Yeah, this game is a lot more laid back. I love the end of day music. I hope they never change this. Alright, just gonna go ahead and skip that part because it's not that important. Alright, so we made 672 Pokos today. Not bad at all. And we sprouted 45 Pikmin. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Baby steps first, Olimar. Plan well and don't worry about me. Our debt is, ha is with happy Hokutade savings and loan, after all. Besides, there's nothing left to repossess, so ha! I... Bankruptcy is a thing. You should be worried about that. That's... <laughs> just just saying. <laughs> you could... You're still in financial danger. If you, it, in fact, it's worse that you don't have anything else to sell. Because that means that you're just screwing yourself over. Did, didn't anybody ever teach you that, that freaking... <laughs> That's not how economics works. You have to pay fees, late fees, and shit like that. This this debt is gonna go go way way higher. Whatever. I I guess Hokutade interest isn't really a thing, but whatever. So now that there's really nothing else left to do in the Valley of Repose, I guess we're just gonna go to our next major area in the game, which is the Awakening Wood. Yep, that's that's really what this thing is named. Couldn't make that up if I tried. Awakening Wood. Giggity! That's all I have to say. <laughs> this area is so pretty. Good morning. It should please you to know the purple Pikmin are lodged in my hull. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. You're a ship. That doesn't work like that. Stand in the ring of light below me and press A to call the purple Pikmin out. Yeah, so, um, purple Pikmin don't have an onion, and as such, you can't actually reproduce them. The only way to get more purple Pikmin is to take other Pikmin into caves and use the candy pop buds. Other than that, you can't make them reproduce. How this works from a biological standpoint, I have no idea. But, yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. Alright, 
so we're gonna start our day by taking out these reds. So now we have all 65 Pikmin here with us. And, uh, yeah. So let's just go start exploring. Or get interrupted. That works too. Louis, has Olimar instructed you on the peculiarities of the Pikmin creatures? The Pikmin form groups when I... We, I know how to... I know how to control this game. I understand. I know... you Stop it. Refrain. I, I know how to game, game. You. You should die, because I don't like your kind. You're a very annoying species. So yeah. If we put purple Pikmin onto, um... Onto a, anything that the Pikmin will take back to their onion, they'll just take him to the red onion, because they can't reproduce by themselves. So let's go ahead and kill these guys. Um... Hmm. Do I really want to make these guys carry them back by themselves? Screw it, I will. Okay. I love this. Just stuns them, and they can't do anything, and it's dead. Yep, if, if, if you needed any convincing that Purple Pikmin are the most broken thing in the entire series. Here's, here's another thing, by the way. can just carry it all by himself because he's super strong granted it will go insanely slowly so it's like not the best way to do it but if you are all, all out of any other kind of pikmin and need more that's a good way to get stuff back to base if time is not a concern and most of the time in pikmin 2 time is not a concern so yeah purple purples are op and i love it i love everything to do with it it's it's great <gasps> Iridescent Flint Beetle! Or is that a Flint Beetle? I don't know. I don't know what they're called! All I know is they drop stuff! Nectar! Nectar! You're a flower now. The Pikmin that drank the yellow nectar instantly matured into flower Pikmin. It appears you have been it appears to have an enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. Now if only it worked like that for real, stupid people. <laughs> Captain Olimar, you must share the information you have with your- Why don't you just tell him? <laughs> Alright, so you went back into the ground. Uh, let's just get as many of you guys on this as, as you can. It's the same deal as Pikmin 1, where one can drink it all, so that is a thing that you should probably be wary of. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal, because Nectar is all over the place in this game, so it's, it's not something you really have to worry about. But it, it is a thing that should be pointed out. Alamar, we have a problem. The onion has ceased ejecting seeds. Is it malfunctioning? Interesting. It now seems the number of life forms within the onion has increased. Didn't you know that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture into the into the planet at once? Yes, okay. I already explained this game. You don't need to tell me. I, are, I, I, I just got done last episode telling the audience about this, so you don't need to tell me. I have it all figured out. I'll let you guys pick some grass, because there's nothing else for you to do right now. You can take this. You guys can leave leave him alone. Go away. Leave him alone. Let him do let him do what he wants. It's none of your business. Just let let him do him. All right. Um is there anything else for these guys to do? Anything at all? Okay, I guess not. All right. So since we have our two captains here, it will actually pluck Pikmin a lot faster. So let's go ahead and get these guys out of the ground. As you can see, there are 95 Pikmin in the field. That is because there is a new type of Pikmin we're going to get here. I highly doubt we're going to get them this episode, but yeah, I just figured that's important to note. Uh, we have only, um... Wait a minute. I'm missing five somewhere. Where are they? Oh, they're, they're, okay. Never mind, they're doing that. Okay, this is a new thing that I will get to in a bit, but first, let's just go ahead and... Nectar! Nectar! Gimme! Gimme! Nice! Nice. Not bad at all. Get as many of you on that as well at once, and I'll have the rest of you drink this one. Uh, didn't get all of you, but whatever. Alright, uh, purples. I'll have you guys work on this too. And, uh, yeah, okay. So this is a new thing. There are a special type of nectar in this game where you can actually get potions, and instead of just finding the nectar randomly, you can get 10 of these berries, and that will give you the potion as well. So yeah, that's a thing. 
Uh, I'm gonna go back and uh, check what these guys have found. Is whoa, that's okay. Three piles of nectar, pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can do here while I'm waiting for the um, wait for that wall to break down. I guess I could throw you guys on this bear on these berries. So come on, guys, just 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 take it, take it. There you go. No, you guys can get down because there's nothing else for you to do. I'll just throw the rest of you on. I will throw the rest of you on. No. Just get, okay, climb the stock. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. Just climb the stock. Yes, okay, game. I know. I just explained this. It is a berry. I know what it is. Ultra spicy essence, blah, 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 blah. No monetary value. I know what it's used for. I will bring other specimens. There's like 10 other Pikmin carrying them that are on the way right now. I am way ahead of you, ship. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Sort of. I'm not the best at this game, but I know how to play the game, at least. Wow, they already regrew. Holy crap. That was... that was very fast. Okay. Uh, they're done with that wall. So, um, I guess I'll just take you guys with me, because there's really nothing else to do. New enemy! I want a purple Pikmin for this, because they're just great and they kill everything and I love it so much you didn't even have a chance to kill anything I love purples I love them so much I'll just have you carry that all by yourself because actually no that's gonna take way too long I'm not gonna do that there you go all right this is an enemy believe it or not oh crap 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 uh did it okay good it's not killing any it's not killing any I'd like to keep it that way. Good. That's a creeping chrysanthemum, by the way. It's one of my least favorite enemies in the game, simply because I often forget where they are. I guess we could throw some Pikmin onto this. Oh, whoa. That takes 200. Damn. Okay, that is not gonna work. I need 20 uh, purples, so yeah. I definitely don't have that at the moment. Um, where is, uh... Where's the... Okay, I guess I'll just go get... Hmm. That's not something I can do right now, so I won't worry about it just yet. Um... Hmm. I guess I'll just go back to the base and get the rest of my Pikmin. Because there's really nothing else for me to do. The day's like half over, but I'm gonna go back into a cave anyway, so it's not really gonna matter all that much. Alright, come on guys, come with me. None of you are leaves, so... Okay, there's no point in getting that nectar. At least not yet. Alright, day is officially halfway over, but it doesn't matter. There is lip balm up there, but I don't need it right now. I also don't have a way to get it, but that's that that's not the way I'm trying to make it look, okay? Alright, let's go ahead and enter the cave. Biological sensors are reacting violently. Their readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. Well, considering I have 95, I think that's not exactly a problem. And considering that 10 of them are purple, it's definitely not a problem. Yeah. Okay, blah, 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 blah. It also said that there's flames in here. And, uh, wouldn't you know it, Red Pikmin happened to be immune to that. So, yeah, very helpful. The whole of beasts. Giggity. So many innuendos. <laughs> and I saved against my will. Whatever. I can't be helped. And this introduces a new mechanic into Pikmin 2. Caves are actually randomly generated. Some are always the same, but some are not. This is an example of one that is not. So yeah, that is a thing that you should probably be concerned about. Um, is there anything over here? Sometimes something like drops from the ceiling if you go into there, so... This is where like, the kind of randomness of this LP is gonna come from, is the... is the randomly ca generated caves, so... Yeah, that's gonna make things a little bit more interesting. Just gonna carry around a purple, because what could go wrong? Uh, okay, that was... That that one could have actually hurt me, but it didn't, so... Whatever. Uh, you guys can carry that. That's another one that can hurt me, but... Come on, just, just die. Uh, ooh, there's a D-pad over there, and I want that. I'll just have you guys carry these back. And, uh, yeah, I'll just give, just take this, take it. 
Um, I'm just gonna have Louie go back to... Kill it. Kill it. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. Okay. Louie, go back to base. Take these guys. Take them with you. Uh, is there anything else over here? There is a little sound effect for when you get all the treasures in a certain area, so if that noise plays, then I'll know we're done here. Also, um, this is probably an important time to note that I am gonna 100% this game, making this my first official 100% Let's Play. That, well, aside from challenge mode, but of the story mode, yes, I am doing a full 100% Let's Play of this game. I am going to be getting all the treasures, which means I'm going in every single cave, including a certain one that's pretty infamous. Also, it played that sound effect, so we are just about done here. You guys can come with me. Just gonna wait for them to get back to, uh, yeah. Come on, carry that back. It's really not gonna be worth all that much, but I don't care. I want all the money I can get because I am a greedy little shit. There we go. Okay, let's go deeper. Sub level two. Okay, I don't remember all the caves that well in this game, so forgive me if I seem to not really know what I'm doing. Also, the fact that it's randomly generated doesn't exactly help, but yeah. I may or may not have a couple of stumbling moments, because, uh, yeah. It's, it is gonna be different. <gasps> Purple flower! I want. I want very much. Okay, I will... I guess I'll just pluck these right away. I'm trying to think what else is in this cave, because I don't remember if we get a new type of Pikmin in here or if that's somewhere else. I don't remember. I know we get one relatively soon. Also, there's the exit, but uh, there's obviously... There's got to be treasure down here. It seems odd that they wouldn't have any. Maybe, maybe in the ground or something? No, maybe not. Maybe? At all? Is there anything? I guess I could go get that nectar. Is there any- is there seriously nothing down here? Really? Okay then. Oh. I know why. I know exactly why. It's because we- the, there's a- the next type of Pikmin we get, it can find stuff underground. So, we're probably gonna have to come back here at some point. Alright, come on. Drink up. Drink up, guys. There we go. Very good. And, uh, is there nothing over here? Maybe something will fall from the ceiling? Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Guess not. There really is nothing down here, I guess. Is- I can't believe there's nothing on this floor. I find that odd. But, whatever. But, yeah. Let's just go to the next sub-level. Which we will be exploring on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Play Commander, and be sure to tune in next time for more Let's Play Pikmin 2, where we go deeper into the Hole of Beasts and see what else is in here. Hopefully we can get that new type of Pikmin, but I don't remember, so maybe not. We'll find out then. Also, through the fire and the flames, we will carry on. See you guys then.